In this video, we're going to analyze how to draw a diagram with a convex mirror. So let's set up a scenario with our convex mirror. So we're going to determine the nature and position of an image when, it's, when an object one centimeter tall is placed four centimeters in front of a convex mirror. Remembering a convex mirror bows outwards and it has a center of curvature of six centimeters. So again, we start by drawing our template. Now our template plate will consist of a horizontal line, which will label principal axis, followed by a vertical line, which is going to be the mirror. Now remember, the convex lens, as I said, bows outwards, which means we've got diverging rays. This will mean that all of our images will be virtual. As a result, they will exist on the far side and there will be no convergence of the rays on the real side of the mirror. So let's put the information on. Well, we know that it's got a center of curvature of six centimeters. So remember, it curves outwards, so the center of curvature is going to be on the right-hand side instead of the left, which we have with the concave. So I label C my center of curvature. Now we remember that our focal point is half the center of curvature, or half C. So obviously, if it's sitting at six centimeters, the focal point will be three centimeters behind the mirror. So I'll put my point at three centimeters and label that F. Cool. Now what we'll do is then add the object one centimeter tall, four centimeters in front of the mirror. Okay, so this is the front side. So there's my four centimeters and it's one centimeter tall. And I'm gonna label the arrow object. Okay, so remember the object is in front of the others. So let's apply the law. Now the law states that we go, first law, parallel with the principal axis and then through the focal point. Remembering when it hits the mirror, the vertical line, it's going to reflect back off so it doesn't go backwards. So here's parallel with the principal axis. Now I join the point where it hits the mirror with the focal point and reflect it off in a diverging manner. The next one goes through the focal point, but when it hits the mirror, it diverges off at a parallel with the principal axis. So here I am lining up with the focal point, and we're now going to go parallel with the principal axis. Now again, you will notice they will not converge on the real side of the mirror. Okay, so basically they're diverging away. So they converge on the other side of the mirror, the right-hand side of the mirror. So what I'm going to do is track back my reflected rays. So here's my first law. I'm going to track it back using dotted lines. And I'm going to track back my second law where it went parallel with the principal axis and where the reflected rays track back and converge is going to be my image. So there's my image. Okay, so let's analyze what we've drawn. Well, firstly, the main point is that we know that the nature of the image is going to be virtual. Why? Because it's on the far side of the mirror. Secondly, it's the right way up. It's diminished, i.e. it's smaller than the object, and its distance behind the mirror is 1.7 centimeters. Okay, so that has concluded our convex mirror. Thanks for watching.